So I want to talk about the Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber, Justin Bieber, Kylie Jenner drama, but mostly about Hailey and Selena. And um, I have a cold or maybe something else. I don't know. I had a terrible cold. So I'm like chapped and crusty and rusty and red all over this area because I can't stop blowing my nose. I'm congested. So that's why my video this week is late. And I had a different idea for my video, but um, I just want to talk about the celeb drama because I'm a big celeb drama whore. I always follow most of it, I think. And I'm drinking wine, so fueled and funded by wine, this video is Yoda. Is that how Yoda talks? Um, but anyway, I want to say that I have like all these opinions and feelings and thoughts about all this stuff. Do I have reliable sources? Is this in depth? No. All I have is my little pea brain thoughts and the little bits and pieces I remember from all the things I read and watch. I just saw one video. Oh, I can't check it because it's on my phone and my phone is what records me. What am I going to do? She did like the disturbing beginning and end. I don't know. Let me look. Let me try and like be a little resourceful here. Everyone is super, super like Selena Gomez side. And I know she has like a lot of like mega fans and like she's really hot and interesting. But I'm here to stand up for Haley a tad bit. You know, I don't really know if there's a real winner here, but what was I doing? Oh, the video I was watching that made me want to make this video. I found it. So I was watching, uh, the beginning and disturbing end of Selena Gomez, Haley Bieber, and Justin Bieber by K Y E L U H Kayla. Sometimes her videos are interesting. I only watched, thoroughly watched the first 17 minutes of it, and then I was kind of clicking around, and then I was like, I got bored. But it was interesting. I probably could have sat there and watched the whole thing, but then I got all these feelings, and I was like, I want to talk about the first 17 minutes of her video. She was talking about how Haley always used to post like on her Twitter and stuff like being a Selena Gomez Justin Bieber stan which I think was very normal at the time for a lot of girls I was never like I wasn't into that yet or into celebrity drama like I was listening to Night Court and watching anime so I wasn't in the celeb world yet I wasn't into drama yet I was playing video games with friends but now I'm all about the drama and I know more about pop music because I like it I guess um Haley used to post a lot about Justin and Justin and Selena and being like a big fan of theirs and like she was like what 13 14 is that not normal as shit I think that was the sit the the situation for a lot of Justin Bieber fans at the time the ship was like you were Selena you know you're like projecting yourself onto Selena putting it in my little middle school anime perspective like I had so many anime couples that I was totally obsessed with and it's not that I was necessarily jealous. No. Because I didn't really think, I mean, I knew it wasn't obtainable. And maybe Haley felt that way. Maybe Or maybe she was a bit jealous. But I think the most, for the most part, uh, I'm guessing she was just a Justin Bieber fan who put herself, like, projected herself into Selena and therefore shipped it. With maybe a pinch of jealousy. For her age, super normal. Is it, like... The signs of like a healthy future adult who won't need therapy probably not i'm in therapy but maybe it is i don't know i don't know i i know a lot of people who are in my boat and who are in a boat similar to hers where they're just like obsessed with a celebrity boy and or girl and i think that's normal like normal teenage girl shit and then she was talking about how like Haley. I feel really bad because I guess some girl who would DM with Haley back in those times, maybe early teens, like 14 and shit, spank me if I'm wrong, for real, but like in the comment section, not physically. Some girl who was um, messaging with Haley at the time and Haley was like, where can I find Justin Bieber? Like, what hotel is he at? I Like, just trying to bump into him, you know? And I'm like, that sounds super normal because that's what I was doing as a teenager, except for I didn't have enough money to like stay at a hotel or eat at the hotel restaurant. But like, I could go this way to get to where I wanna go in the small town, or I could go this way and pass by their house and maybe they'll see me. Or like, oh, they go to this park a lot. I'm gonna go to that park more. Like, you would up your chances to bump, in, bump into your like crush. 
I think that's super normal for a lot of people. And she had money and the way to bump into her crush was go to that hotel that he was at. Is it creepy? Yes. As an adult, if you do it, what the fuck? But at that age, I think that's really normal and cringe and normal because we're all cringe. And this is like some unfounded shit. I don't have anything to prove this at all. This is just like a couple things I've read online and my own thoughts, but pretty sure that Selena has been, has had drug issues through her life. She hasn't, my bad. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Most people I know have issues like that, but not most people I know, but a lot. Cause she's been to rehab three times and like, as far as I know, the reason she's checked in were for like, illnesses which a lot of celebrities do instead of saying that they're going in for drugs but i really don't know anything i'm just having fun and also these are real people so sorry no shame to either of you that's what i'm trying to get at at the end of this i don't think selena is perfect she has been not good plenty of times and like even in the recent drama like they i don't the thing I feel like that really popped it off was um, her like doing those TikTok comments like on like maybe Haley hate pages or like an old video. I know one specifically that was like an old video. It looked old. I don't know how old it really was. Of like them mentioning Taylor Swift at some show, and then Haley was like, Ugh. and then Selena was like, I'm defending my best friend. But there were other comment things too. I cannot remember them at the moment. But if you look it up, you can find it. But yeah, Selena Gomez commented on some TikTok, TikTok stuff that was a little like instigating. Not gonna lie, I probably would have done the same. Plus she has bipolar, so like maybe it's even harder to not do that depending on where you're at. They might have made fun of her eyebrows, like that's rude. Personally for me, I don't think that would bother me too much, but in any way it's Selena, not me. So she's probably gonna get upset. Maybe she will. I don't know her. So what do I want to say overall? Oh, and there's a lot of like, I've been saying a lot of stuff about Haley copying Selena. In some fashion ways, they accidentally match or whatever. I'm not surprised. I mean, like, they're both trying to be fashion forward. I'm not sure if it's quite copying. There's the G tattoo thing, but like, Haley had her reasons. And I don't think she was the only celebrity who did that for that same reason. But I could be wrong could be misremembering but either way like she had a reason and I don't think at first when I was like they had the same G behind their ear I was like bitch what the fuck but then like I heard more about it and I was like mm. honestly not too weird the promise ring tattoo I can understand if she got that like it seems to be a little thing for Justin if he did to Selena as well or like it's just not that weird I don't think because a ring and a tattoo is just different to me and like I don't know if I would connect that if I was Haley or Selena, I just don't think those copying things are as deep as they seem. Like the way they word things the same sometimes and stuff. Like, I mean, they are in the same kind of circles, or at least they were. So I feel like their language and like vocabulary is probably similar. Maybe Haley is copying Selena and that's just like an insecurity thing and that sucks. I know that's really hard. I don't think Selena has been entirely honest about who she is and her issues but I don't blame I mean I know that's really hard I feel like she's been portrayed too angel-like and I just don't feel like that adds up with like histories with people like friendships coming and going and stuff like that definitely gives me like maybe you have addiction issues vibes or some or well she's bipolar so that could be it um untreated so there was the uh tween early teen like cringy ass fan shit and trying to be where justin is normal honestly normal at that age for a lot of people not just girls um maybe not everyone but i think i mean i know i could i i've been one of those girls and i know a lot of others and boys so um is it cringy yes is it signs of a bit of a anxious attachment or like unhealthy mentally adult maybe that's the thought that i just thought of today so 
I'm not sure. Um, we talked about Selena kind of instigating this drama a little bit on TikTok with her comments. And Haley wasn't doing that. Last, the tattoos and other copying like behaviors that maybe. And there's also the fact that like they're kind of in the same area of celebrity. So it makes sense that talking the same, same style, same clothes, like similar at least would happen. The G is not that crazy because she got hers for a reason and like it's not a bad tattoo idea shit. Even if she actually knew Selena had done it a couple days, a week or whatever before her. I don't think she was the only one who did it, right? It was like for someone with cancer. Co yell at me in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> I have one more thing I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, so Haley, I guess, had some, like, really old comments, like, saying the N-word and just, like, being rude to, like, kind of immigrants and just, like, shitty tweets, right? First of all, I'm guessing she was pretty young when she did that stuff. She was very young then, and we have no idea what she thinks or feels now about it. And she won't tell us, and I'm sure even if it was different and better, she wouldn't tell us because she's scared about how to word it or say it. Like, she's just not sure. She doesn't want to be wrong or hurtful, right? most celebrities just kind of like avoid it they don't even want to touch it because they don't want to make it worse and they're not sure if they can make it better right and like anti-immigrant just like she's a privileged white girl and i'm sure very christian so i'm sure she fucking learned that shit from her family and people around her and was repeating it like i'm just not surprised at that time and age that she would tweet shit like that um is it right no but we have no idea what she thinks or feels now. I guess not up to me to forgive her, but it's just my thoughts. I'm just like kind of blabbering, seeing what happens. At the end of the day, just hope that now she doesn't see shit that way and she doesn't like that anymore. I mean, things have changed a lot since then and we've all kind of been forced to learn a lot. And we could learn more, obviously, but I don't know. I feel like that's a good guess. But, I mean, she did, she in a different social class and stuff, so maybe not. Shit, I don't know. Maybe things are different. I'm not really defending her, I'm just saying. I guess my conclusion overall is that I don't think the shit Haley has said and done in the past is all that weird and bad. Except for maybe, like, some of the racist and, like, few things that I heard like anti-immigrants just hopefully she doesn't think that way now we have no idea you know things are very different now and she's a lot older so I really cannot make a, a guess or a judgment on that I have no idea I don't think anything Haley said or did specifically into like the fangirling and stuff of Justin Bieber and Selena and stuff was like anything weird or creepy or disturbing or like I think it was very normal young crush girl fan girl behavior which has always been wild that's why them k-pop boys are fucking rich as fuck or at least their companies are for selena like i don't think she's an angel you know i think she did some instigating in this situation and i don't think she's entirely she's entirely honest about everything they're both fucking fine you know it's unfortunate that this happened and the teasing happened and I would do the same shit on either side, or both sides combined, maybe even worse. But I guess it bothers me that Selena's like the angel winner here, and Haley's just like thrown in the trash. I feel like Haley doesn't need to be in the fucking trash can, okay? But she can be close. And then Selena's not an angel, but like she can stand on the ground and have like cute little like wings. Maybe that's the right spot. I can't believe this drama has gone on so long, because usually stuff dies out a lot faster than this. And that's, that's it. That's my opinions on this drama, at least as far as I can think of right now. Should have done this video sooner before the wine started hitting. Probably could have said a lot more and done a lot better, but this is what I got. And this is what you're getting. Alright, toodles.